What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, Jesse Sawyer. And, uh, today, today's video is going to be different. Why is it so windy? Why is it so windy and why did my camera almost just fall? I don't know. Anyways, look, y'all. Like I said, today's video is just going to be different. Just like all my other videos, they're different. Uh, today, I'm bringing y'all story time. Uh, in today's story, I'm going to be talking about um, a time. Now, this story is like a while ago. This, Jesus Christ, why is it so windy out here? Fuck, my nigga. Now, look. This happened back in like elementary school, right? So, before I get hate for this story, I just want to say this happened in elementary school. I'm 20 years old now. I'm in college. You know what I'm saying? Relax. Um, but, so look, this happened during recess. And y'all know, anytime in elementary school that you got to go to recess, that was like, pretty much the littest time in elementary school, right? Like you got to hang out with your homies, you was probably playing basketball in the playground or something, you know what I'm saying? Doing them little monkey bars, you know? So, um, so, so class got out, you know, teacher said, oh, y'all can go to recess now. So, you know, I said, cool. She was like, you can just, cause we had like this little, this little play basket where she kept like anything like basketballs and stuff in like this little basket. So she was like, you can take something out the basket and you can go to recess and use that and just bring it back after recess is over. You know what I'm saying? And then come back to class, right? So I, I was like, all right, cool. Um, I grabbed like a basketball and then I met a, I met one of my friends you know, um, that I had made. Uh, by the way, this was like, I think I, think I was like a, I wanna say I was in third or fourth grade. Um, so I was pretty young. So, you know, I was chilling. I was cool, right? Me and the homie was just playing basketball. We, we was out there shooting, you know? I was out there being LeBron and he was out there being Kobe, you know? Just playing one-on-one -on -one basketball. We was, we was hooping, hooping. Um, you know, having a good time. And then, this this where the story gets interesting. Um, my my friend was like, "Hey, I'm about to go play tetherball." Now y'all know tetherball that little that little game where the ball be on this pole. You gotta hit the ball until like the string wrap around the pole, and the other guy you can't step outside of like these these boxes or whatever the little area that you're supposed to stay in. You can't step on the line. You know you can't touch the rope that the ball is on, or else you out and you lose. Right? So I was like, "All right, cool." You know what I'm saying? I'll holler at you later. You know, I was out there still playing because I had other friends too. So I was out there still, you know, talking to other friends. Um, for whatever reason, so so this random dude came up to me, right? This random kid. Um, I, I don't even know who he was. I don't think he was in my class. Look, this where the, this where the story happens, right? This is where the story starts to pick up. And if my camera falls, I'm gonna be sick. Let me just make sure my camera stay. All right. Um, so this dude came up to me. I was like, what's good? He was like, hey, what's up, man? You trying to hoop? I was like, um, sure, right? Not thinking, I'm not thinking nothing of it. All right? I'm like, all right, cool. Let's hoop. You know? My job was a fourth grader, right? So I, I, my mind is that of a kid, right? So I'm, I'm thinking, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? We, we hooping. We, we shooting around. You know? <laughs> like mid, midway through like our little game of one-on-one -on -one or whatever you want to call it. Um. This man said, hey, you kind of cute.
Like, damn, is a tornado about to happen? We live in Fontana. Ain't no tornadoes in Fontana. Like, goddamn, it, what is what is going on? Damn, this is a, this is outrageous. Um, so this man called me cute. man called me cute, right? So I was, I gave him that look. I was kind of confused, so I gave him that kind of confused look. He was like, yeah, yeah, you kind of cute. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, look, look, before I say what I said, I, no, I'm just gonna say it. So I called the dude gay, right? Now, now look, look, pause, time out. Time out before before anyone gets offended. Let me just say, let me just say this. Time out. Let me just say this. I know I called the dude gay. Look, I was in third, fourth grade. I don't know. It was a long time ago. This was elementary, right? Before I even, I didn't even know what the term meant. Well, I did know what the term meant. You know what I'm saying? My mama, my mama taught me what that what that term meant a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I called the dude gay. Because I was like, I don't really roll that way, you know what I'm saying? I like girls. But he was like, bro, come on, bro, it's nothing, dude. Like, I just think you're kind of cute, you know? I'm just trying to compliment you. You look good. Dude, I swear to God, a tornado about to happen. Yeah, why, why did my camera just do that? Anyways, look. For, for whatever reason, I got mad, right? So I called the dude gay. Not not thinking that he would get offended at all. Cause the dude later on, like five minutes, five minutes after this, right, the bell rings, now recess is over. Look, I didn't know the dude was gonna get mad. The dude got mad, he snitched on me, he said, I'm gonna tell the principal. I was like, for what? He was like, because you called me gay and I'm not gay. I just think you're kind of cute, man. Why, why you got to you gotta be so hurt by it? I'm just trying to compliment you. I'm like, dude, it wasn't that deep, dude. I just, you know what I'm saying? I didn't think it was that deep at the time, you know? But the dude snitched on me. And then the principal said, hey, you got it. You got it. One of the, um, or not the, one of the student aid people, you know, the little people that used to be walking around the campus and shit, said, hey, the principal wants you. They called my name on the intercom and shit. You know, said, hey, you got to come to the principal's office. I was like, all right. Now, time out. Time out. Look, look. I don't have, before I continue my story, I ain't got nothing against gay people. Look, I just want to put that out there. I ain't got nothing against gay people. So if you're gay, I respect you. You do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Salute. You know what I'm saying? Hey, love is love. <laughs> but look. With that being said, salute to all the gay people out there. But look, I'm not gay, you know what I'm saying? I still love women. Women are my per I love women, you know? I, I roll that way, you know what I'm saying? I don't roll that way. But look, with that being said, respect to the gay people. Respect to anybody that's gay. Hey, y'all do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, you know, hey, th this was also my first time ever being called up to a principal's office. So, like, I was scared as hell, right? Mind you, I'm in third, fourth grade. Like, I, I, I'm going to say fourth grade. I don't know why I keep it. I'm going to say fourth grade. I was in fourth grade, right? My first time ever getting in trouble at school. They called my mom, yo, your son in the principal's office, um, he called it. He called a student gay. You gotta, you gotta uh, come to the come to the office, bro. All right, man, we get it. Mother Nature, Jesus Christ. This is what happened when Sabrina Carpenter think about dropping an album on a Thursday. You know what I'm saying? Mother Nature just don't know how to act. Goddamn, the calm before the storm had asked. Ah. If my camera falls anytime during this video, I'm going to be sick to my stomach. I have the flu, about to throw up. 
on this goddamn in the video. Look. So I can't even goddamn tell my story because now I'm scared that my camera's gonna fall. So my mom gets to the school. She comes to the office. I'm sitting there waiting for my, for my mom because they tell me I gotta wait till my mom get there until they give me some type of punishment. I'm in fourth grade. I don't know what the hell is gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? My mom gets to the, to the school. She walk in the office. She see me there. I'm low. Key. She know that I'm scared because it's. Like I said, I ain't never been, been up into a principal's office, you know what I'm saying? And my mom, no, just my first time ever being in the principal's office. So she like, why are you here? I was like, um, I called a student. I called another student gay because um, he said I was cute. Right? She was like, okay. Did you apologize? I was like, no. Like, I didn't know he was going to get offended by that. Like, the dude started crying too. That, that's why I felt bad, because the dude started crying. Like, I'm sorry, babe. What you, what you want me to do, man? I ain't, I ain't about to hug you or nothing. I don't know you like that. You just a random dude to me. So it's like, oh, this man got super, super hurt by that. Um, so the principal, principal was like, oh, yeah, you, you can't be saying things like that. I was like, oh, well, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I didn't mean to do it. I, I just, I don't roll that way. You know what I'm saying? I, I love women. I, I, I love women. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. You know, once again, all my gay people, I respect gays. I, you know what I'm saying? Gays is cool. You know, if you are a gay person, salute to you. I don't roll that way. That's not my, um, it's, it's not something I, I would like to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, pretty much, what had happened was, the principal told me, you know, you can't be saying that, um, basically, they tried to get me for sexual harassment. <laughs> they tried to say it was some type of sexual harassment. I didn't know what that was at the time, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm in fourth grade, what is sexual harassment? They didn't teach me this yet. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I learned sexual harassment until I get to till I got to like fifth grade. So I'm like, what what you mean? What's sexual harassment? And then my mom had to explain. Cause cause then they like they said I had to leave school. For calling a dude gay, I had to leave. I felt like I was being suspended. Y'all know how how you get like three days off once you get like in a fight or something and then they suspend you, then you gotta you ain't gotta come back until like a couple days or once your suspension ends. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I was like, mom, what is, you know what I'm saying? My mom, um, my mom basically explained everything about sexual harassment to me. And I was like, oh, well, <laughs> I don't know what to say now. My mom wasn't even mad at me. She was like, Saying maybe if you, she, she just told me maybe if you see the kid again, you know what I'm saying, when you go back to school tomorrow, you know what I'm saying, you can apologize. And I was like, all right, you know what I'm saying. Never, never saw the dude again in my life, you know what I'm saying. I was like, okay, like, I, I still to this day don't know why he got so upset, you know what I'm saying. But, um, yeah, so that was crazy. That, that was just a crazy ass experience for me. Like, damn, I didn't know that dude was gonna get that hurt. I didn't, I didn't really mean nothing by it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't mean to hurt the dude's feelings. I, I just said, dude, like, I don't really roll that way. Like, I know you, you think I'm cute, but like, I don't roll that way. Like, you could, you could go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Um, go somewhere else with that. Pretty much. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this story time, man. I, I, I didn't got some crazy ass stories about, you know what I'm saying, school in general. So, if y'all ever want to hear more stories about elementary or my, my high school, uh, 
my high school stories or my college stories, make sure that you comment down below. Let me know what type of story times y'all want to hear next. Um, and if you enjoyed this story time with your boy Justin Sawyer, then you might as well smash that damn like button, give this video a thumbs up, and then turn on the post notifications after you are done subscribing to the channel. Um, turn on the post notifications so you never miss a video and you get notified anytime that I post a video on this channel. And then like I said, comment down below. Let me know any other story time videos y'all want to hear next. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, y'all, I'm going to catch y'all in the next video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all for watching. Like I said, all my gay people, I salute y'all. Don't take offense to this video. I, you know what I'm saying? I was young. Like I said, I was only in fourth grade. I didn't really know much about, you know what I'm saying, that type of lifestyle up until probably middle school. You know what I'm saying? So, really, it, it was just like a... Basically, I learned a lot that day. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, but I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all for watching. I love y'all with all my heart. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace. Enjoy the rest of your day. <clears throat>